I may actually have the focus to absolutely destroy this this evening, or I'm going to get frustrated into oblivion. It's going to be one or the other. <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> you needed it. <laughs> do you want to like, like ease into this? Do you want to go like maybe do one little NPC lore thing first, or do you want to jump right into? I, no, I'm jumping directly into that fight. All right, going right into the boss. All Fuck right, yeah. well, well, there I'm, you go. I, I think that's don't get me wrong. <laughs> I, don't get me wrong. I'm excited. Like I'm not bummed about playing Bloodborne tonight. I'm psyched. I'm just forewarning you that one of these two things is most likely going to happen because of my day. All right. Well, it's Bradborne time. Either way, it'll I be think, cute. I think it's. I think you're going to have a good time. So uh, we're going to definitely, again, try and help through this boss fight. Yeah, I think you only made... Did three, you do four one attempts. Attempt or, okay, four attempts? Yeah, okay. three or four or something like that. Yeah, that's right. You kind of went in... Mm -hmm. Like, the first time almost wasn't even an attempt. It was yeah. just like, it's hard to know what the hell's going on. This this is a tricky boss, for sure, boss is. Um, but I think you started to kind of make some progress. Uh, again, we'll continue to tack on strategy... And um, some other things. You got to remember your run back. Yeah. Can you, when you this, get there, can you just uh, check your inventory for me? I just no want to see what you have available. Sure. I think I wasn't here for the last time that there was Brad Born. Uh, which boss is he on currently? He is on the shadows of Yarnum. Oh, in the fuck that woods. fight! Fuck <laughs> <laughs> that fight so much. I think, I, be... dude, I did surprisingly okay on one of those runs, like, to the point where I was like, okay, this is doable. So, like, I know I got this. There's been other fights that I've not been 100% sure I was ever going to get, and I did, which is neat. But I feel like I, I've got this at some point, even if it takes me a dozen, two dozen dads. All right, let's, let's look kind of through what you have at your disposal. I'm just curious to see what we're working with here. So, get... Is we got the, uh, the, least, the beast blood pellet could be useful potentially, but it's it's know. early for that. Yeah, um, I need a strategy um, before I go in there using like uh, you know, sneaky items. I would save your poison knives as a good fire paper may become a thing that we use, but not yet. Like once All you right. get a little bit more used to the fight, we'll, we might use fire paper. Um, oh, paper. Paper. Okay. <laughs> I don't think we've even really looked at the shaman. When did you get a shaman bone blade? Look at the look at the um let's look at the square on that. Let's see. Blade of bone coated with gruesome spinal fluid used by old labyrinth watchers. In particular those presiding over rituals. When a victim is cut by this blade, the green spinal fluid temporarily numbs the senses, disturbing the target's gross motor skills. The blade, never intended for battle, must cut deep to be effective and brace. <clears throat> so this is an interesting item specifically to this fight, because I've seen people do this before. Uh, and I, I actually always wanted to try it, but it probably would take more than just one of them to, to make it effective in a fight, mm -hmm. but it might be hilarious to watch. So what this does, uh, <laughs> this is a, you know, turn enemies against each other weapon. Oh, is what oh, this is. I love it. Yeah, it is. It's And this fight is, I don't think people really think to use it in this fight that much, but you can absolutely pick one of these dudes and just go stab him with this thing and then just watch them go to town on each other for just a little bit. They're not going to kill each other, but, you know, if you stabbed... For example, if you stab the um, katana dude, so there's three guys basically. You know, there's the katana dude, there's the candle dude who, with, who's basically spitting fire at you, and then there's the fireball dude who keeps their distance and fireballs you. And they actually have different levels of um, like damage that you do to them. You know, when some of them are weaker, the fireball dude is like the weakest one. So if you if you stab this into like the katana dude and he goes and attacks the fireball dude, he will absolutely do a ton of damage to him. Sorry. But you only have one. You would only really have an opportunity to use this one time mm -hmm. in a fight, and then you wouldn't have it anymore. Because I don't think this is something you can buy at the dream. Maybe you can. You'd have to go look. But um, those are really your things. You don't really have much else that I would say you would necessarily use. This isn't a fight for like 
gimmicky stuff. But it might be entertaining to just do that one time. Because this is a good fight for it, because you know you got multiple bosses. Yeah, this does seem like a really interesting uh I can't think of another like example. There's like a couple of other fights you can do. And there's a couple of like, like when you fought the two hunters in the courtyard, mm -hmm. it's another good time to use that kind of thing. But totally. there's not a whole lot of other times where you're dealing with like multiple enemies like that. So if so, I use it on one guy, will the other person just continue to attack me and let the other one just attack the crap out of him or will it fight back? No, I think that if you have one of them bone bladed they'll probably both focus on that guy and fight each other for, I really want to say it's like 10 to 15 seconds. Uh -huh. So it's not super duper long. If you have a bunch of them, you could just keep stabbing them and watch, watch them <laughs> kill each other. I can only carry <laughs> three, is, so. Oh, uh, okay, yeah. So that's, I think that's probably as many as you would need to watch them actually take each other out, potentially. All right, keep your eye on me for a second, because I'm not certain I 100% remember this run back. Yeah, there's one detour I kind of want you to take here, and that is when you get to the bottom of this, where this lantern is, I want you to go right. Yeah, and then, yeah, and follow the outside part of that path, because otherwise you're dealing with the massive snakes. And then to the left, to the left, to the left. Nope, not that far left. <laughs> Between those. This way? No. No. Kind of kind of to the left of the um yeah, right there. And then just keep going nope. Nope, to the left, to the left. Mm -hmm. Sorry. That's right. And then down this way. Huh? I didn't drop down. No, I you can get back on the path around. now. Okay, I see. It's right here. That's where I want... No, stop, 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 stop. This is where I wanted you to take a right, not a bit further. So when you get down to this part of the path, go right, and then kind of stay to the left now, to the left. And that way. That's your run back. And then if you keep going, you'll straight from there. You should run into... That's it, right between those trees. There you go. That's your run back. And just remember... A um, there's varying opinions on this, but I tend to not lock on in this fight, just because I think the most important thing, because you're kind of always kind of moving in a circle in a way and just picking off like your times to like get in hits, and um, so if you're not locked on, you can kind of keep them all in view at once because you really want to be able to see when the fireball dude is shooting at you, you know. So you're still kind of focused on people do it in different orders, you know? So like some people do the fireball guy first, some guy do the katana guy first. Uh, almost everybody saves the candle dude for last because he has this weird like um, kind of attack chain he gets into where like if you hit him once, he'll like strafe to the right and then you hit him once and then you strafe to the right and then you hit him once. So in a little farther into some stress than I need to, but... They're kind of different levels of aggressive too. Like the straight up melee katana dude is always in your face. Two. Nice. Yeah, it's one of those fights you kinda of have to you're doing awesome though. You're doing awesome. Now I get 
remember that like fire spitter you ran into? Mm-hmm. Um I do. And like the those fire spitters just do a ton of damage. Yeah, that thing fucked me up. You know, uh, earlier in the week, I was talking to uh, one Mr. Wesley Bates. Mm -hmm. he was shooting the shit, and we were talking about where I was at in this game. I mentioned I was, uh, I mentioned I was uh, in this fight. He did give me a bit of a tip that I want to run by you. Um, All right. I'm sure he knows sure. what he's talking about, but you know, just because he mentioned it, I thought I might mention it. Um, All right, he let's he go. suggested that right away, uh, just take one of them out right away. And then to not to like whittle the other two away kind of evenly, and not leave like one to for like the end. Right. Um, is that this, making sense to you? This is very close to like kind of the mainline strat, except for um, if you take one of them out, the other two are going to transform, and it gets real hairy. Um, uh huh. So, the, 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 I guess the it, advised strat, similar to that, is that you actually want to get them, uh, at least the two of them, the katana guy and the fireball guy, down to right above 30%. Mm -hmm. And then, um, a lot of, that's when a lot of people do like fire paper or something like that, and just when they see an opportunity, they go in for like a massive attack because when they're doing their transform, you have a little bit more time to take them out. So if you can actually take out at that point, because you have the two of them down to 30%, if you can then take them both out, if you can take out the Katana guy and then rush over while they're transforming, take out the Fireball guy, then you're just left with Flame Spitter guy. And when he transforms, he has a different move set, and then you can kind of get him into the hit lock thing. It becomes ah. a lot easier. But if you just take one out right away, it probably makes it, I guess, a little easier to manage. But they transform, and then she gets real weird. So and they transform like based on like uh, like based on health bar, or is it time? It's it's literally, I think, right at thirty percent of their health. If any one of them gets below thirty percent, they transform. I see. So that's like, I mean, I can't point on uh, like when you go in there, but there's like on the bottom of their health bar, there's like an area that I always look at where it gets like a little bit like wider and, and brighter at the bottom. And like just above that is about 30%. So I, that's probably a horrible description, but there's really no other thing to go off of. But their health bars have these kind of like, designs on the bottom that it like gets really light and then kind of darkens and it gets light again you see, see that on the bottom there I see exactly what you mean. so probably just at the very very top right at 30 and that's what you're trying to get whoa 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 get, 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 get. Oh. that was close Get your zero blood load. There you go. You might need to do one more heal. I wasn't sure if this run was gonna be worth saving. Yeah, and by the way, if uh, the the not lock on thing is really preference. Like a lot of people do the lock on still and switch back and forth. Really, whatever you feel. Whoa, buddy! Oh, that was a big hit. Yeah, perfect. Exactly. You got to pick your time. Yep. You really almost never want to do three. I'm sorry. <laughs> like three hits is you're just asking for the entire time. Take your time. Right into it. Yeah. There you go. Oops. 
Yep. Yeah. It's alright. Three hits fight. with my, three hits with like my down fall. <laughs> still. It's one of the trickier ones, for sure. I'm, not, I'm actually finding it fun, because it keeps you on your oh, toes it's, and stuff. It's awesome. It's, yeah. I love it. I love this fight. Yeah. <clears throat> the run back's kind of a pain in the ass. Uh, first episode of The Last of Us. Oh, very much so. I can't. I mean, it's like a hundred percent of Rotten Tomatoes. Like everybody Wait, when the fuck? Was. This Friday, Sunday. Sunday is the first episode. Oh, no yeah. yeah, I can't wait. I think it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be super popular. I think it's gonna be awesome. I've always told Courtney, I was like the um, the um, story of The Last of Us. I think is one of the most compelling, just zombie stories ever made. Yeah. But the game it's, itself is played like a movie, or like a it TV is very show. cinematic. But I just love the entire concept of like the one person who, like, um, is immune. I'm excited, and it's got a good cast, and it just yeah. looks like they're doing it right. Uh, Nick oh. Offerman, I love him, isn't he? Bill? Uh, he's yeah, he's, he's a, a, a not a brother. He's the the guy, the dude who's like. Hold up yeah, in his tank. Bill. Yeah, his name is Bill. His name is Bill. He's so perfect. Like I don't think he's been in anything with zombies, and it's like he is so good for them. He's exactly the right cast for Bill, for sure. Like just kind of sarcastic and and mad about everything. Yeah, that's, that's so awesome. They're talking about like football, and I'm like, the Bucks play on Monday. It's gonna drive me nuts. Waiting. I think I may have a new favorite player in the NFL right now, though. Who's that? Oh, I know who it is. It's Pokemon. It's Pokemon. It's Pokemon. 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 What are you talking about, Pokemon? <laughs> Pokemon. First swag has a cocky. I just want to go home, man, and play some Pokemon. Like, I can't believe you actually did that. It's just really like you know, there's other people on this game. Like, yeah. That's funny. They think they said something. Hey. Okay. I like to try and keep them all in. Oh. Are you lucky? Oh man, this went right between you. Yep. Very lucky. There you go. Get out of there. I know that it's like not ideal, but if you're ever close enough to the fireball guy and he shoots him at you, it's really an awesome thing to like dash forward through them. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, you, you just get you, if you're if you're facing him, you can get right up in his face right after he shoots and hit him. I think one of the things, my least favorite parts about this fight is that it's just such a pain in the ass um, area. Like it, doesn't, it looks big and open, but it's not. You know? No, it isn't. And there's, I think I can get away from those fireballs by like getting objects between the fireball guy and I, and it doesn't He gets around them somehow. Like, he hurts it like he's in that weird bullet curve maybe. It's a curved fireball. Ooh, nice. Alright, you got him below, so now they're transforming. Just kind of take him out if you can. Things are about to get real dicey. See how that guy changes to a fire sword? So now he's got to completely pick up these. Uh... Oh, damn. 
Dude, you got one down. There you go. Whoa, stuck on the wall. <laughs> see if you can take out, see if you can focus kind of on fireballs that you down. You're, you're way far away from me. Yeah, no, I was I was swinging at the other guy. I forgot I was locked on. Alright. Yeah, no, I wasn't going for the fireball guy. <laughs> That's a new movie he hasn't done. Now he's raining fireballs on you somewhere. Oh, why am I down? They they just knocked you down. Wow. That's New move. <laughs> that that slash me because has like all the way across the stage and right. Got the dog clicking right on it. There you go. Got this. I had you managed for a minute there, didn't I? Yeah. Now you're gonna make it hard. Alright, don't get yeah, what's he gonna do? Oh, you got me all the way from over there, bum? Yeah, he's got super range on this thing. I feel like you'd kill him if you ah. use that Ben Blade. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest doing it. Alright, so it's just you and Fireball, dude. There you go. Be careful. Careful. What? What? What is that? What is happening? Those were giant snakes. Holy Christ. Nice. When he does that move, you can run in and hit him. Watch out for the snake. There's one. Yeah, I did that corner. Yeah, top off. You got plenty of vials. You got this. Yeah, yeah. Get, come on, get up! I'm fucking me up! Yeah! You, that was not the way that you're supposed to do that, but you did it. Go no, grab your shadows, they're around Woo. there somewhere. Yeah, the shadow deal picked up yet. Dude. That was beautiful. I told you it was going to be one way or the other. Either it was going to be that was a great, frustrating dude. night or I was just going to focus. That was great. I mean, you, you managed that perfectly. You kind of isolated each one and just took them out, you know? And you yep. just had enough. You just put enough into vitality. Like a lot of people <laughs> get to this part where... Oh, I'm serious. A lot of people get to this part where they You're start like, doing... Yeah. He, oh. Those are zero. He's, there's nothing yeah, in those. Zero, you right? can pick them up. And yeah, zero, right? <laughs> He's oh, died. Okay. He's died like five times. Yeah, five, six times on this, I think. Not um, bad though. I feel good about that. But he went and leveled up right before that. So like a lot of times, like people, those snakes will just like one, two, take them out. So mm, yeah. Did you pick something up? Wait, what did you get for this? Did you get a Carol rune? I feel like you get a Carol Rune that's like gives like some really interesting lore. I'm curious. Um, I would need to. See, I can't. Was it Blood Rapture? Check check that one. For square. Carol Rune that transcribes in human soul. I think this is it. Blood Rapture is the raw euphoria, the warmth of blood, restore HP. Mission text. This rune resonates with servants of the queen, carrier of the child of blood, who yearn for their queen's blood with little hope of requitement. For them, they find solace in blood rapture that serves as a surrogate for their desires. That's definitely it. That's the one that like is tied to this group. 
Sweet. You know, so basically servants of the queen is kind of what you need to know lore wise. You know, there's a lot more that goes into that, like you know, when you play through the game even more. <laughs> yeah. Um, and in fact, to get all the lore on that one, you really have to like go explore down in the chalice dungeons and do all of that, which is not the most fun thing in the world. But there's some really cool boss fights down there, and the lore you pick up. You did it, dude. I, I did. I see. I mean, you did. That would, that honestly can take people a very long time to do, because <laughs> it's just. It's just hard, like, when you have all of them, and at any point you can be winning the fight and doing great, and then it's just over. Like that. Um, I kind of want to, like, I, <laughs> is there, um, I, I don't think so, but I, I might as well ask, is there, like, after you beat it or something, is there, like, a boss rush mode where you can fight them all again? I wish, no. That's one of the best things about... Um, Sekiro has that. I wish all the other ones, other Souls games have that because I love that you can go back and replay. They're called like memories. Mm -hmm. But in this one, you cannot. Mm. Not that I'm aware of anyway. But that's the thing is you can just replay the game again. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Some I people would, uh... will, if they want to do them, you can go. There's like save tricks you can do. Yeah, right. But it's like requires you going into your save data. And There's yeah. probably a chalice dungeon that you can fight some of them again. Some of them have kind of versions of the, themselves in chalice dungeons. I think the shadows do for sure, but not all of the bosses do. Because it's a good one. I, I kind of feel oh, like it's a, a great I'd love fight. To play that over and over again. Well, it's you actually got to see pretty much all of like what they they did too yeah. i was glad that you kind of got to sell that you never really got a good view of those snakes like you should go watch a youtube video of somebody fighting that where you yeah. get like a good because those snakes like come up out of the ground like coiled up and just strike Welcome across home, the whole fucking hunter. stage what is it you desire <laughs> it's for me it's like no i'm done i never want to do this again. <laughs> very well i'm like nightmares about seeing Let those the snakes. echoes become your strength let me stand. What do I need? Another fourteen hundred. Yeah, we just do a cold blood thing. Um. So I think we should, at this point, should beat a boss. Um. I think we should Welcome. What is it you Very well. Let me There's a couple of things I want to check. Um cuz I can't remember the order in which this happens. But we definitely need to go back to Erden Chapel because if you remember in the last playthrough, I think it was the maybe the one before last. Farewell, good hunter. Uh you ran into an NPC called the Afflicted Beggar. Oh, dude, we gotta go check out the, what the cannibal's done. Yeah, who's fucking eating people, and you're like, oh. yeah, go to where, go hang out with where these people. <laughs> all right, all right, let's go face the music and see what we've done. I can't believe I did that. Yeah, so go to uh, Cathedral, Cathedral Ward. Yeah, that was, it's kind of funny in uh, a way, but... I'm almost um, like afraid to see what I've done in here. <laughs> Because so I think you've sent most people here other than one yep. person. Who Everyone you, who except you one. Killed, who you killed in your syphilis clinic. Uh -huh. It's the old lady you sent there and they turned her into a, like yeah, an alien thing. Them. Yep. <laughs> this dude. So. Right. right off the bat. Okay, so there's one thing that's noticeably different here. Someone's missing here. Okay. Yeah, we'll go look. They're still with us. Yeah. What about the dude who like doesn't believe anybody? Yeah, he was sitting up where that item now is. He was like right over here. Yeah. What? what? Not only. Okay, so wait. Look on the ground. Oh yeah. There's just blood everywhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> um. So you get a pungent blood cocktail off of him, which if you read the, you don't have to do it, but basically if you read the description of that, it tells you that that's basically what people in your army used to get shit-faced. 
Oh. Um, so, all right. So now let's go. We could go back. What we need to do is because there's some lore with this. It's just that door right in front of you. Just go right outside that. Which Be one? mindful. Th there? That one. Be mindful that there is like a snatcher who comes around the corner sometimes here. But there's your guy. There's your guy. He's not inside. Ah, hello again. I owe this to you. It's a wonderful place. They even let beggars like myself in. What's better, we keep our distance. Don't step on anyone's toes, right? The way proper Yarnamites ought to live. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on, Hunter? Just keep talking uh, to him. Let me share something <laughs> with you. My secret stash. Really prime stuff. <laughs> All right. Dude's, dude's like oh, just so again. drugged up. He's like turning into a I beast. I really do owe you a terrible lot. Finding me such a nice place to live. Because he's basically eating beast blood, you know, just to get fucking this is a super high, place. and then he's eating people. It's everything you yeah. ever had and more. But he's he's okay. eating so much beast blood that like. He can't really come inside the church because it's filled with incense. Oh. But, but beasts, beasts are attracted to beasts are attracted to the punch of blood cocktail. So that kind of explains why he went and killed the other. Let's go talk to the uh, go talk to the chapel keeper there. Let's see how pissed off he is. Oh, kind hunter, the old man, the old man you sent over, he's dead. Killed, stone dead. Why? I'm so glad Must that have you been said this. <laughs> or do you think someone out there could? Oh, oh, I just don't. Oh. oh man. Well, I'm curious if you've like I denied yourself a certain item by deciding it's to send this guy here later. Oh my. <laughs> you've you've made the the poor little chapel keeper upset. Was it a beast? Or could someone from outside have come in and... Oh, I just... don't know. <laughs> so, is everyone else here safe? Or not? Should I just cut this guy's head off? I, you know, I don't think I've ever really tried to do that. I wonder what would happen. <laughs> You got a screw loose. Holy oh my shit, God. Dude. <laughs> This is amazing. You hunters have got more blood on your hands. <laughs> this is amazing. I've never seen anything like this. Do you I didn't feel know like that that's happened? I had no idea. I am so giddy right now. I've never seen anybody do this. Heal up, buddy. Heal up. Oh my God. You got a well, I feel like a noob that I've never known that this is a thing. I mean, I always know you can kill pretty much any NPC in a Souls game, but I just never really thought to kill the dude. I usually don't send him here, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. He's super, strong. super goofy. Back a second. Yeah. Um, go into your inventory real quick and equip the. Uh, you don't have to. I mean, what you're doing is working. I was going to say you can poison it, but you should really save the poison for something else. Anyway. Just, just keep doing what you're doing. You got plenty of blood vials. This is amazing. I'm so happy right now. This is like making me the happiest person. Ever. I did not. I thought you just were going to kill my dude. It's He's like a dark beast. I love him. I die. Oh my god, he's so close to us. Oh, what the hell is happening? Oh, yeah. He's a beast. A beast. What would you know? Oh, I didn't ask for this. What did he do? He just killed Oh, no. Oh, he killed like the. um... 
Come on! Oh man, he is. You can. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> All right, dude. Explain. Oh my god! Stuff Does he get you beast mode pellets? I bet he gets you beast mode pellets. Beast? No. Oh my god! Is that a Carol Brew? Dude, what? what is this? He dead killed thing? the crap out of that. That's the that's the snatcher that came around the corner. The one that took you to the prison. Oh. Oh my, oh my god! You just made my entire day. So. So blessed. what the hell just happened, dude? What was so that? So I do like? think you probably just saved everybody else in the chat. Like, will you go talk to people now? Like, I kind of want to see if they have different dialogue than I've seen before. Yeah, like, dude. Go talk to the chapel like, dwellers. I didn't want of these people to die, like, because I made a stupid huh. decision. Brave hunter. Well, you just kind what of, I think, it? guaranteed yourself maybe getting an item Have later. You renewed thoughts on this matter. Forgive me, I, I should have known better. What would? Oh, hello. No, I want the horse blood. Sorry, dear, you're much too eager. I'm only saying. You got to take it to okay. have her give you more. Mm -hmm. Her blood has a very next? special quality that you discover well, later. Could someone from outsider come in and? Dude, I just okay, so now chance. he's giving you the same thing. Don't I'm curious if you come, come back. back. Yeah. If you'll come back, let's come back in a little bit though, because I don't think. I mean, there's other reasons to come back. Can, can, so. can you? Was that a Carol in there? The beast. The beast is a Carol Warren. Yeah, can, let's look at it. I feel like such a uh, like I know so much about this game. I've never. I don't think I've seen people do that in a lore playthrough. Maybe I just watched one. Do you have two of the? I oh, know. Secret symbol left by Carol is a transcription of the roar of the labyrinth beast. The bearer of the beast rune has accentuated temporary transformation effects. The beast is one of the early Carol runes, as well as one of the first to be deemed forbidden. Discovery of blood and entailed discovery of undesirable beasts. So, what's the one above that? Oh. No, go back. Go back yep. into that. So, so you have two beasts. I was like, I think you got one before. So, um, huh. yeah. But that's, and that just basically, because I, I mean, I always knew that the dude was like a beast, but I, I didn't know that that was going to happen if you up the beast. Have you, uh, like, so, so, like, have you fought that thing before? Or? Mm -hmm. No, never seen it before. <laughs> really? So I usually, I usually either send, I usually send that dude to Osaka's clinic, or I just let that play out. And it ends know? up dead, right? What, what, do you want to know what happens if you don't kill him? Yeah, wait a minute. Before you tell me that, and yes, I'm very interested in that. Um, what happens when you send him to the clinic? Does he cannibalize there or end up a victim? He ends up a victim there. Uh, okay, so that neutralizes that dude. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you leave him... It basically, every time that you kill a boss in the game and come back, he'll have killed somebody else. Okay. So, like, he'll kill... If you had, like, the old lady there, he'll kill her. Then he'll kill, like, the church lady. Then he'll kill... He actually kills the freaking chapel dweller. Right. Uh, and then he kills Ariana last. But, um, yeah, just one by one, he just starts picking them off and killing them. And he'll just... Every time he kills somebody, he gives you more beast blood. He's just basically thanking you for letting him murder uh. all of your friends. <laughs> I, this is the kind of stuff that just makes me, you know, grow a big soft rubbery one for this game. It's just, <laughs> it's so good, the amount of, like, weird depth and things that you'll see. Yeah. I don't know, I just anyway. had to, I had to do it. Like, I just felt like that needed to be I'm done. proud of you, that was great. I mean, you, I, I think you, and you also saved their lives, which will, I think, allow you to see something and get something later. We'll come back here. Nice. Um, because there's there's a, another important item you can get from these in these things. So before I went but, in and I fought that boss, um, you were mentioning like, hey, do you want to like go do like an NPC thing? You had something in mind. What is that? This. <laughs> oh, what I just said. Okay. <laughs> I want to do one other. I just want to check one other thing. I want to go back into Yosefka's clinic. Um, she's probably praying at the grave. I wonder if you can find Garman. We haven't seen him in a while. 
Yeah, that's true. Uh, I wanted to check back. my runes or whatever. Yeah, sure. That was super cool. Something had to be done. All right, I'm good. Um, um five. Nope. Uh, not yet. He needs chunks now, which I'm getting a little bit eventually. Anyway. Um, we have a couple other decisions to make, but I think, well, I'll give you, uh, let's go do, let's go do, um, Yosefka's clinic, and then I think we need to decide if we're going to, do you want to go do, like, like one of the super secret optional areas of the game, or do you want to kind of progress the story a little bit more? By the way, the super super secret optional area is like a big, full area. Uh -huh. So I don't know. You think I'm cut out for the super secret area? Um. Yet, am I prepared for this? I think you probably leveled up enough for that yeah that's not what i mean and you know it <laughs> am i ready personally mean? to go in there am i competent enough to go in there i think so i mean i don't think you'd really have that much trouble with a lot of the area with the exception of maybe the last part of it but i mean you're at that point in the storyline you've already gotten a lot of the storyline about it you know like it's storyline about you know, the vile bloods and um oh what's his face? Not Arthur. I have such a bad even like names I've like read and heard like a thousand times. <laughs> what is the name of that other NPC who is the like a white robe guy? Yeah, healing church. Um It's not Arthur, but that's stuck in my head now. Anyway, he was like one of the ones from like the church who like fought against the vile bloods, and he said that like his basically his master, Master Ligarius, went up there to kill vile bloods. Alfred, not Arthur, Alfred. Right, okay. Hunter of Vile Blood. So he's already kind of keyed you into that, you actually pick up what you need to go to that area in the Forbidden Woods, kind of. Like, you got you got what you need to go there at Yosefka's clinic, but you, you know. So it's kind of at this point in the story that I think they somewhat expect you to go there. I never went to it, where you're talking about her. I do know about it, though, actually. I cannot believe it. It's, the, it's my probably my favorite spot in the game, so... First, let's go to, once you're all done with leveling up, so let's go back to Yosefka's clinic. I, you can go right into the, the main part of it there, like the first floor sick room, because you already opened the door. That's right. I just That's want right. you to go back up there, and I'm going to see if there's, we might go back there another time too, but the, there was one item that because you went there when you did, and actually fought evil Yosefka that you didn't get, that you get in other playthroughs, and I just want to see if we get one. Um, if there's another one up there. So yeah, go back up the stairs there. We're just gonna kinda go exploring. And just look around each of the rooms and see. That's the first thing you read. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. That's like your, that's your, Mission statement for the game. <laughs> Look behind you, see if there's... No. Because you killed that one in there. I think that was good Yosefka who was transformed. Because you got a Yosefka vial off of that alien. Which is how you know that 
something took over Yoskefka's clinic. That's such a cool area. Yeah. How good is this game? It really does feel like Castlevania sometimes. Yeah. Right off um, the bat. Love yeah. it. There may not be anything in here. It might be a waste of time, but I'm just curious. So we're definitely a few dudes in here. Yeah, nothing. So there's nothing in the chest or anything like that. Where it would normally be is upstairs, so I'm wondering if it's up there or not. And if not, we'll just go somewhere else. up here. It would, it, it's usually right there. Okay. Alright. Never mind. Did not have you grab it? Um, I don't think he grabbed it. Is it something that really you... sucks that I'm not going to get? Well, go into your inventory. No, you have an opportunity to get... What I'm really curious about is the... Uh, go down... Uh, I'm looking for the one-third and bill... Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, think there, I, I know I have one. Right? All right, so you have one. So, weirdly enough, there's, hmm. um, Three, right? I think, four in the game. Oh, all right. So you can get, you can still get three of them. You need to find three of them in order to kind of make something happen. So, anyway, don't worry about it. We get other places we can get one. Although I was worried about you losing the other one. If you just lose them, then you just don't see that part of the game, which is fine. But it well, amazes me that somebody beat every single Souls game, the Souls like game, um, I guess Souls board, in one go without getting hit. What? Yeah. Yeah. Some guy did that recently. He beat every single one of the games. Like all the Dark Souls, Demon Souls, Dark Souls, Dark Souls 1, Dark Souls 2, Dark Souls 3, Bloodborne, Psycho. There's Road, something in here, Brad. Elden I think you found everything. Yeah. And that's Elden the way. You, that's the stairs. Oh. So if you want to go out, you can go, go, go out here. Go, left. go to the left there. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I got it. Without getting hit once. That's bonkers, Christ. man. What? That was a whole challenge he did. It's like he reset back to, I think, Demon Souls if he got hit and like just started all over again. Oh my god. It's, people just, A, have way too much time. I guess. I and mean... B, like, just, I don't know, ma masochistic personalities. All right, before, like, we're going to go to the Lantern there. You can go back to the Hunter's Dream, because I always, one thing I always hate about this game is that it doesn't let you go from, like, lamp to lamp. Gotta yeah. Go to the dream, and right. then to the next lamp. It's just a stupid, and especially when it used to take forever to load. It doesn't take nearly as long as it used to. All right, before we leave on our adventure, go into your inventory, and I want you to find, um, the be to the right. It's, it's called the... Keenhurst summons right there. Let's read that again. An old bloodstained summons inviting an honored guest to the forsaken castle Kanehurst. Rather bafflingly, it is addressed to you. Do not hesitate. Stagecoach leaves from Hemwick Crossing. So we found this in Yosefka's clinic. So mm. we need to go to Hemwick Connell Lane. Um but go to the witch's boat or whatever it's called. The what? So we're going to go back. Because you have this Kanehurst summons, we're going to go to the... Uh, I think it's the... It's either the first or the second tombstone. We're going to go to the, where you fought the witches. I think it's this one. Yeah, the witch's abode. That's where you want to go. <sighs> All 
Now we're just gonna go like kind of back up and out of here. This way? Yep. Yeah. The stairs on the left there. Just kind of back up. I love this boss arena. Yeah, I'm looking around like, dude, this is actually scary. Well, the, they were like, the witches were basically there collecting eyeballs. <laughs> like, that's what they were charged to do. So they were like all these bodies and they, were, like, they drag all these things in there. Just so, down. So. Yeah, him with, the him with crossing is basically at the bottom of this. Oh my god, dude, you're doing a ton of damage now. Bend to win. You got that jump R2 down, Pat. Not quite, but I'm getting better. Uh, where am I going now? Am I heading the right way? Just to the the bottom of this hill is where you need to go. All right. There's like a act like this is actually a crossing of like streets right here, and this is where you need to go stand. You might have to fight these dudes. Yeah, right where that light is, I think is where you're kind of going. Patience with that guy. I don't know what that was. You don't need to go down that way. No, I mean, you can if you want. Doggies? What are we well, doing? you got him now. I think there's something you can actually prompt over by that light. Like this, the, I remember right. Aww. Ooh, took out a big chunk of your skin. Oh, you're lucky you didn't grab you. You got a second one. I think this is the last one. Yeah. Alright. I didn't drop anything. Yeah, so go back to where the streets kind of cross there. There's like a that light right on the street. Go to that. This here? Yeah. Alright. I think go go up to it. Oh, what is it you have to do? Why am I blinking? Um, hold on. It's, so, it's something around there. I can't remember. There's, there's like a, there's definitely something that's like prompts you to click on it. Stand in the middle of the road, kind of, and just stand still a second. Is it? <clears throat> Go to the. Go to the little tower tombstone structure in the valley. In Charnel Lane to trigger the cutscene. Power Tombstone, probably that thing right there to your left. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Yeah, that that thing that's kind of lit up a little bit to your left. Walk up to that. No. Oh, he's taking a screenshot. That is a really <laughs> cool screenshot. Yeah, to your right there, like just right that thing. Go 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 up to that. Oh. There you go. Okay. It's oh, like, cool cutscene. Like normally it just triggers on its own. Thank you. 
Dude, this is super cool. Yeah. Just remember, you gotta find that little secret area in the Forbidden Woods, through the Poison Swamp, up like a giant couple of ladders, into Yosefka's clinic, find the summons, come back here, find the exact spot you need to stand in. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just such an easy thing to miss. Oh, I 100% would have missed that. See, I can just get in now. this area a lot because this is super Castlevania. Um, <laughs> yeah. This is what I want Castlevania to be, you know? Look at this place. I know, it's fucking awesome. Oh, it's so great. Explorers. There's only maybe one or two places I'm gonna like interject what, what you do or where you go, but. Summon specifically. Okay, good. I was gonna ask, like, is there a lantern here? Yeah, you can probably go. Because this is a mighty good spot for a lantern. You can, like, you, you can probably get a level up. You? You're not, pretty no, close. It's, yeah, I might as well kill something. If, if there's something nearby, I'd love to kill it. And there's back. something down that hill I can see. It's not like a boss, is it? Just give it to me. Not a boss. Okay. Just looking for a regular old enemy. What is that thing? That is fucking creepy as fuck. Yeah, it's good. Dude, things with like legs and shit it's are free. Human with blood mosquito. Oh, oh my god. Oh wow. Oh, well, I just right want a regular right. ass enemy to fight. <laughs> like might as well be a boss, man. What the fuck? Oh, it's got a head and shit. I just saw that. Yeah. Oh man. Well, I mean, your souls are gonna be right here, although they might end up being inside one of the bug things. Yeah, that's alright. Even if I lose them, I'm not gonna freak out. It wasn't that. You, many. Again, like it, it seems like a lot because the beginning of the game, you're like, yeah. "Ooh, I have 900." Uh -huh. It's like, yep. <laughs> okay. It's like now you slowly it's get a over it. Very diminishing returns. It might just be on the ground there. Yeah, it's right there. You can run down and grab them. Sweet. Believe it or not, some people come here to farm. I, don't like this I would farm. believe that. Farm. I could I could dig that if I like was uh just crawling around out, on all could, the hills. Like kinda of kill these things. Like I don't know, I'm, I'm definitely blowing it, but I mean they're pretty tough. They're very tough, yeah. Some of the actually I think tougher enemies in the game. They're pretty quick. Yeah. Um they they pounce on you and they stagger you, like it's it's a tough it's a tough enemy. Definitely don't want to fight too, so let's give this a shot. Aw oh, man. Just whipping it. Look at that weird tongue move. And again, just one of the things you gotta love about Bloodborne is like you playing this whole game, you've never even seen anything that comes close to looking like this. Man, like Alright, right. you got one. They give you a lot of souls, that's the reason. Can you, you top off. 
Hold on. Yeah. You mean like stagger or like parry? Uh, the parry stagger. You can't. I don't think you can parry him. I, I don't think I've ever tried the. I usually kind of do what he's doing. I tend to just dodge and then get a few hits in and then dodge. Again. Dang it. It's so fast. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Need those back. Damn it. I hope I don't have to fight that thing up there. Mm. I better get used to it. I think you do. Right now, they're kind of a mystery to me, to be honest. I kind of feel like I'm like, I don't catch you, how you move. And so the one of these. Right there. One more of these things, and I can probably level up, I think. I'm curious I'm... if you can parry him now. What button is it? Okay. So it, like, headbangs at you. That's yeah. so metal. Oh, like that. I feel like that is Fuck. Alright. Alright. Maybe I have enough now. Let's go back and... Yeah, yeah. Deposit. Yo, I am loving this area already. <laughs> I know, it's awesome. Seems like it's gonna be tough. Welcome home. What is it you I feel did? like I usually try to like dodge like pass their attacks to their side. Like the only place they really can't attack you from is on their side. Yes, yeah, so I tend to try and get like over on the side of them and get some hits in. Farewell, good hunter. Probably the third tombstone. Is it the third one? No. Yep, for the second castle can't hurt. Oh. Yeah. How did I miss that? losing your blood echoes as really. much. But those worms are kind of similar to the um, the worms oh, in like the poison no. swamp. Yeah, right. They just kind of attack really quick, so... Yep. Yeah, I don't. I wouldn't jump right down in the middle yeah, of them. No, I did that the exact <laughs> opposite of the way you're supposed to do that. I knew it when I jumped in there. I'm like, I'm I still like 
I still like the full, like, um, great sword, and then kind of jumping R2, and you know, try and take him out as kind of one at a time as you can. But Zack Ryder Molotov would probably work pretty well in this situation. God, this castle is so cool. If you kind of come in from the left, maybe there. I think that you'll run into fewer of them all at once. You've never seen that like um, video of like the like a guana or whatever, and snakes are coming out of all the rocks and stuff. Yeah, I feel like a like what this is like. They just come out of everywhere. Dude, you want me to jump at these things? Well, oh, you got one up there. You isolated one. I really want to see. There you go. They're if strong just, too. Like they look small, just, so I figured like I'll just slash the shit out of these things. But no. See if you can coax more to jump up one time. But look how many of them there are. You probably can throw a molotov down there. Oh, there's one. He jumped up on the rock. Get him. Don't fall off. Time, it's not they're not doing that much damage. There he is. They're doing all right damage Shit, though, man. like I'm getting fucked up. Dude, chip me, man. Might have to do a There you go. I don't even remember what this item is. <laughs> it better be good. Look at all this if they keep coming out. Hard spot to Molotov them from. If you're gonna do it, oh, blue. Did you get one up there? No, sir. Shit, dude. I don't want to blow that whole thing go. I just did. There you go. Uh, there you go. See how much damage that did? My god, they're freaking everywhere. There are so many, dude. I'm fucked. That sucks, bro. <laughs> I, should I, should not have, I should not have went down there. Flame spit them. Yeah, it's melt. Oh, no. Burn them. You might be able to. I've never tried this, but you might be able to throw a punch of blood cocktail and get them all into one spot, and then all. Oh wow! Not a bad idea. Equip the cocktail and see. I bet that would work. I don't know if they. I don't know if they qualify as like beasts or not in that regard. But it'd be fun to see. They're freaking everywhere down here. It's crazy. Shit. Murder right. in danger. Hmm. Throw a punch of blood cocktail over in like a corner and see if they all go over there. And then you can lock onto them. You have to go down to your item thing. Yeah, put one in there. Sure, you have some. I know you got at least one from the dude. Oh man, you have so many madmen's knowledge. Yeah. There they are, you got 10. I'm sure you have some in storage too. So just kind of pick a an area and throw it over there. Uh oh. Let's see. They don't they're not attracted to it. They're not really they don't guess they don't qualify as beasts. Huh. I like I said, I think you lock onto one. Throws it more accurately, so. Did yeah. not really do that much. No. Not a lot of damage. I don't know how to deal with these things other than just, uh. Good time. Oh my god. That's not it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, yeah, I will do that. I gotta approach. Yeah, I can't approach approach from here. It's stupid. The yeah, coming from the top is definitely having you end up mm -hmm. and just just right in the belly of the whole beast den of them. Like, yep. No, I'm I'm blowing it. Enough is enough. Sometimes I'm stubborn, but I'm not stupid. Yeah. That's right. Look out. at all these fucking things. It's so creepy. <laughs> They're everywhere. It's so creepy, dude. They tend to kind of leave you alone if you don't plug them. There's one to your left. Nope. So, what? Oh, snake a snake or, thing. Okay. I'm like snake or fucking crab person. Just keep coming out of the woodwork, man. Yeah, this is definitely, I think, the better direction. Just give yourself yeah. some space. Hey. Whiffing it. Come on. Land Out of boy. Alright. Um, whoa. Fucking dead. Still alive. Fucking tapeworms. Yo, listen up. I am like, uh. Dude, that one rolled down the hill. <laughs> it's kind of amazing. It's like, whoop. Alright, I don't see. I'm sure there's a couple more down here, but it's I like don't moving. I'm like, is that alive or? They are still moving. I wonder if that's on purpose. Look at them coming drop off the... Yeah, it's like it's like Resident Evil style. That's not fair. Yeah, they're just pulling it, coming out of the rocks and things. Yeah, back up, top off. And he's jumping R2. This one, jump R2. Boom. Yeah, there you go. Knock him back. That's how I usually do it. Ah. Get yourself greedy. Back up, back up. Come on! How <laughs> many times I tapped that damn button before I got a blood vial off? The problem with the, the, the overswing is just going over them. Like, they have very small hitboxes. That's why I like to jump out to you, because you're like, Need to top off. Yeah, see? That way you're kind of guaranteed to hit them. Especially if you're locked on. Oh, get out of there, get out of there, get out of there. Get out of there. Oh my god. Run! I think, I think they won't follow you if you go out the gate, maybe. Um, all right, he's not falling anymore. I think you can go down and get that item that you've been fighting uh -huh. for. I hope it's just like bullets. Yeah, me too. <laughs> right. I hope it's that. Just I think there's else. one more down there. There's got to be at least. They don't give you shit for like um, blood I'll echoes either. I'll take those though. Is there? There is one more down there. Where at? Just I don't get, see it. Just get the item. Oh my I god. Am, uh, there he is. Oh, no, that's, that's good. That's a good That's a good scent. Alright, that was worth it. Yo, I was about to say... Um, like, lock on and overhead smash. A little, little too far. Not... So I like how it knocks him back, too. Yeah. That's pretty nice. And the yeah, that's a good strat. 
Yeah. Um, and you don't really have to deal with the blood sucker things anymore if you don't want to. You know, kind of yeah. fault one. There's a couple more over there, but they kind of just roam around, around out here. Hmm. Um, the hell's, I was like, dude, this, I almost spent, uh, I almost uh, died as many times attempting to get this item that I did in that last boss. It's like you're in a little boss fight. <laughs> Fighting the anal worms. I hate these Yeah, things. they are really creepy. Seriously, man. All right. The only thing I wanted, to, the only thing I want to show you is like maybe you can creep back up there. Um, I want to show you one of them because there's there's one that's a little different from the race up there somewhere. And you got the, the gemstone now, so it's, it matters. I got like a weird double hit on that. There you go, on the side. Perfect. Got him? Nice. Alright. You're taking the dangerous path up. I love it there. What the fuck is that? That's not the same thing, is it? It looks different. It's the same. It has a little less blood in it. Oh. That's impressive. There you go. That's why you that's why you put money in stamina. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, there's another one up there. There's one up in that court. I think you actually have to go back and around here now. I don't think you can actually come get up there from this way. I want Blue Point to remake this game in the worst way. Like, I know they could do it. It's like perfect the way it is right now, though. It's really perfect. There's just some little little touches I'd like to see. Some you know, dark updates, shadow quality. Yeah. Like, if you've I mean, ever looked, they, I guess they do some good. quality of life stuff that's really good. Don't don't touch that thing. Where are you going? Okay. You want all those things to come back again? No, 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 I don't. I don't. Um, you know, maybe yeah, it's, see, that it's one's my gotta first be time that I'm not like noticing anything. It just seems good. I don't it's know. really good. No, for 30 FPS, it doesn't really play that way. It always feels pretty smooth to me. But am I going uh, up to that doorway over there? That is where you're headed. Oh, Connor, I don't know if I ever said this to you, but I did find something in some uh, TikTok that someone had about uh, why those old games that we play, the PS1 games, like they felt like a memory, it feels like our memory is like, uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it for real, buddy? Like, I... the reason is that, like, the pieces for it were made. CRT TV. Yeah, they kind of melted grounded. together. Yeah. I was like, that's so interesting because you try and play it now, and you're like, oh, this is so blocky. You don't remember it looking this way. And then it looks yeah, especially so good games right. like, especially games like Star Fox. You know. All right, you can actually get your souls there. Star Fox. I feel like like the Final Fantasy games, especially like Chrono Cross. Oh you try yeah. To play it now. Like our front of trigger. You try and play it yeah, now. Yeah. It's like everything's so like pixelated. I just and... look to the left up here. I'm sorry. Oh, you're running. You're running for the door. Never mind. There's just one. There's an item back there, but there's also. I think that they, they're not really super aggressive as long as you're not fighting them. Yeah, they don't seem to really want to like chase me down. But down to the left more. Like or down Wait, in that corner. Can I go there? Not that okay. way. Sorry, the other, other the other side of the building. That way. Over here. There's there's like one really Ooh. massive one over there, like guarding an item or something. There's like three I'm, I'm, of them over here. 
run down there and Dude, I'm gonna get fucked up right now. Hold on. Alright, there you go. Let's see if you can sneak down there and grab that item. But yeah, look at the size of that big freaking mama sucker. Fuck. Just walk slow. Walk oh, slower. No, no don't walk on that thing. Get the item first. <laughs> Before you fight. Oh! <laughs> you deserve Oh, that. fuck you! <laughs> that was protecting me. Come on. <clears throat> <laughs> that was kind of funny. I had that. And that's and that's when the attack comes. Here, dude, I was afraid. Not from the first raptor. From backstabbing. The other raptor that you didn't even know was there. I knew it was there. I just thought I could get away with it. <laughs> you did not. I swear to God, I did. <laughs> Come to Camhurst Castle. We don't even get in the door. Shit. Right. This is such a good looking game there. It really does hold up well. Cause it's it was like 2014, like this game is almost ten years old now. Alright, you can probably get around the back side of that one if you walk and, and backstab it. Not that one, the littler one. Or the big one has your glowy eyes. Oh, it's Why don't you just peel the other one off and fight it before you... It's coming. Ah! Oh. <laughs> I am happy. I like, I like thinking that that one is like the, they're, they hit very hard, dude. Yeah, this they area is whooping my ass. We can always come back to it, you know. I mean, no, if you don't... I, I'm still feeling it. I'm not frustrated. I'm just like, all right. That's the way the game needs to be played. Alright, game. Have you had your, anyone invade your game? Mm -mm. I don't play online. Good idea. No thanks. I don't know if people really want to do that anymore because the game's old enough. You're gonna get all of them on you. Oh man. <laughs> like your determination. Fucker. <laughs> that makes me so mad. I just have the timing up so fast. I'm swinging at the worst time. 
Yeah, you, you're kind of swinging at the same time that they're jumping, um, which is definitely not ideal. That was better. Oh, got a nice little gemstone there. There, see, see if you can at least pick that. Yeah, get this, get this guy first. And walk. Stop running. Stop running. Stop running. Why are you running? Walk slowly towards your enemy. It wasn't that easier. Now walk towards the big fat one. Walk. Walk. Oh. <laughs> You're gonna alert it. It put well, walk is like your stealth attack. Right up its big bloody ass. There you go. Hey, look at all yeah. the blood. <laughs> that was amazing. That's why I really wanted you to get a look at that one. That was great. Jeez, you can man. see why people would, if they get used to it, farm right there. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm clearly uh, at the moment just kind of um, hitting the game with a hammer now. <laughs> and I feel like uh, I feel like that typically means it's time for me to stop. All right, we'll go back and check out the blood gems because uh, you don't have to fight these things really again at all. Like you can just go. Well, you want me to go back you, to uh... get back to the lantern? <laughs> well, right, you can run around these dudes. Yeah, that's true. Just not from that angle. They were right there for me. Yeah, come on, take my bowl time. Yep, I got this. I just need a better angle. You made one mad. Yeah, this will be a really cool place to explore on the next, the oh, next yeah. playthrough. Definitely. Um, let's go check out those gemstones you got. That's what I was really curious about. Picked up like four um, bloodstones. Curious to see if any of them are wild. So I know you got, yeah, so you got the one three there. That will definitely. That's the one you picked up, I think, from the little snaky worm dudes guy. Snaky worm dudes guy. Yeah. Right. And then... What was the one I just picked up? You picked up some blood. No, I think this might be specifically for, like, your gun. Or it might be the last one you can use. Nah. Okay, so you just had that kind of the one there that you can use. But you can check your gun to see if there's, like, better ones you can put on it. Oh. There you go. Yeah. So what's the one you have on the far left one now? Can you get back to it? So? Okay, yeah. You you got the right stuff on there. Okay. All right, now go. Yeah. Oh, you don't have a um anything that has like a slot. That's right. You pick up. Well, I'll just let, we'll explore next time. But there's some really cool stuff you pick up. In the castle itself. Oh, I can't wait. As, as you can imagine. Yeah, I love when I, uh, I love when I get a little taste of an area and then I have another week to dwell on it. <laughs> and think I about know, it. But that was a good taste, and you and you kicked the crap out of the Shadows of Yarnum fight. I mean, I'm that can be a really yeah. frustrating one, and you got through it pretty well. I'm thankful that came off and not like didn't take all night. For sure. For sure. All right, well, cool. Well, until next time. Um, sorry, I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to get my Switch back. My 14-year-old my has kind of commandeered it. <laughs> what's the game? So what's, what's, what's the he playing on it? He is playing. He got, for Christmas, the full Ezio collection Ooh. of Assassin's Creed, which he's never played. He likes. Oh, he's only, He's wow. played the newer ones. I was like, 
gotta go play that. I feel like you'll, we, you would really like the some of the older ones because like they're I think they're better stories a lot of them and like some really cool stuff um and I think he just I think he did I kind of like the combat of the first ones better it's kind of got that mm-hmm. you know more like Batman Arkham Asylum I type mean, combat Ed, where Ezio in the uh, I think it's the first Ezio one or no it's the very first game there's like that whole one where you like go into the enemy's camp and you just have like a bunch of fights one on one like in a row and it's yeah. so good well and this one has um, two and Brotherhood and was it Revelations or one? I don't forget it, but they've got, I think two to me has got the best cities in them. I mean, uh, Florence and um, Venice are just such cool places to run around and he loves like the parkour and stuff so he's he's kind of obsessed with it and he's he's kind of taken over the Switch for now. And ta- I let him take it with him. You know, he's, he's kind of like very into it. But I'm, I'll, I'll probably have it back next week. But I'm, I really am enjoying doing this too. So yeah, it's good um, to be like consistent. I feel like I'm staying sharp. I think we should keep doing this for yeah, now. We I'm can in. find like another time to kind of finish up Pokemon, maybe outside of this. But I, I kind of like this time for Bloodborne. I'm, I mean, I, I saw something that I've never even seen before, which is amazing <laughs> to me. That was I can't so believe that's cool, a thing man. I've never seen. I thought I'd seen everything you could see in this game. And I was wrong. Jeez. Like you've never even seen that creature before. No. Wow. No. That was wow. all new to me. I don't think that that... And that's the beautiful thing about this game is that there's probably some other stuff I haven't seen. I don't know. I've played through it a ton of times. But usually my playthroughs are... I, I have tendencies where I kind of do the same thing. You know? Like when you have like a yeah. comfort game, sometimes you kind of do the same thing. I don't change oh. a lot. And I don't even usually send that dude to Erden Chapel, you know, let alone uh-huh. think to like kill him when I do. Because one of the reasons if I send him, I like it is to like watch him kill everybody. It's like <laughs> kind of funny. But I don't think that enemy design even exists anywhere else in the game. Like I've never seen that enemy before. But I huh. remember. Well, like, <laughs> like I kind of feel like I should send him there and then just kill him before he has a chance to kill anyone else. Yeah, um, I'm, yeah, I'm not sure. I think I think if you send him there, he kills at least the old drunk right off the bat. So but then have you ever? You a ball. You've never just like attacked him like when you first meet him before you even send him anywhere. Um, I think I accidentally attacked him on my first playthrough, but I didn't kill him. I see. I usually just kill him by sending him to the clinic. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that's it, or I just, or I just don't go see him at all. Sure, yeah. and then he becomes like one of those alien thingies. Yeah. And then you kill that shit, and does it give you the same item? Um, I think yeah, I think it does give you a beast blood pellet, and that's how you know it was him. Huh. So, that's cool. That's usually the indication is like the items you get off of people, especially there. Um, but yeah, we're going to, now I think we're going to get to go back after we reach a certain point of the game, we'll go back to Erden Chapel and see some more stuff that I thought you were going to miss out on. Cause I was like, I think you might've killed everybody. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm glad I didn't. Yeah. There's some other fun stuff you can do with the NPCs. I'm kind of, I'm toying with the idea of like talking you into doing a few things That's just to like see some some extra content and cool outcomes. Um, yeah, it's just interesting, you know. That's it's awesome. just interesting some of the way some of the NPCs interact with each other because you, you, I like I like it with these games because they leave it up to the imagination a lot. Yeah, you know, because you never really, you almost never really see them interacting. You know, right. there's only like a few examples where you see NPCs do anything. Like you, you know, when you think about Eileen the Crow, you come apart and she tells you all these things, and then, but then eventually you actually get in a fight, like with her on your side, and I think that's really cool. But most of the time, it's like you leave and come back, and you just like find the aftermath of like whatever it is that they've done right. to each other or with each other. <laughs> um, so how cool that was really that was really cool. It was a, it was a lot of fun. 
Yeah, good session, man. Awesome. Definitely. Got some good. And you went to Canehurst. You got to kind of see just the outside of that. Yeah. I'm excited for you to explore a little inside because there's some, there's a lot of good stuff in there. Very, very cool, man. All right. Well, good night, everybody. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out.